Previously on the Agony Anarchists. Mendo, Renegado, Sophie, you gotta come back with me. Where? Back to the future. <gasps> You know, questions, is it just me or does the future look a little bit too much like the present? Sure it does, but it is in the future. Look, our costumes have been updated. I has a sword. I noticed. And besides, it looks the same because we only traveled a few months. Why? So we can all watch Man of Steel before everybody else, of course. How? I have a friend who has a friend who has a friend who I haven't met yet, but I will. And he will send me the movie right about... Now! Oh, I see! What? Wibbly, wobbly, timey, wimey. Do you want to watch this movie or not? Yes! yes. Don't worry. Be good. Meanwhile, on planet Caligula. Whoa, I have heard about bootleg copies having terrible quality, but this is a new level. I didn't know that Krypton had such an exotic language. You know, I'm starting to think this isn't Man of Steel. That's because this isn't a Man of Steel, you dolt. This is obviously some Indian thing. I see, so you're trying to tell me Krypton is actually in India. But if Jor-El is Indian, then Superman will have to be Indian. No one will believe that. Well, we may as well review it. We're already here. But it doesn't have subtitles. We can't review without subtitles. We'll get letters. Well, it looks like it follows basically the same plot as the Donner film, so I guess it'll be easy to follow. Is anybody else feeling a deja vu here? Eh, it's... Probably nothing. Hey, is that the Statue of Liberty's torch? The baby looks even more confused than we are. Please get me out of here. They are not my parents. I wish I could understand the word they're saying. Yeah, dialogue scenes kind of suck when you don't understand what people are saying. I don't know. I mean, look at this scene. It's the same as every other Superman origin story. Except this baby seems to be a lot more active. Oh no, he's been possessed by the annoying orange! for the new roof. After the movie has an acid trip, we cut to this movie's version of the Kent family, who are sporting their best 80s sunglasses. Uh, 
पार्वती नल को बंद कर दिया अरे पानी चल Oh my God! It can bend a house. उसको टूटा है जहाँ खराब है। आप क्या करेंगे? इंतजार करते हो गाड़ी वाले जाए तो उसे मांग लेते हैं जैक। Seriously, I feel like I have seen this before. Maybe because it was also in the Donna Superman movie. Here is Clark Kent showcasing one of his lesser-known superpowers: impersonating Michael Jackson. You can laugh, but it's very effective. Especially with kids. They're playing Beat It in the movie and Max Headroom Ayatollah Khomeini is nowhere to be found? Blasphemer! Superman! Faster than a train! When the train is in actually moving. Hang on, I think I accidentally changed the channel to Indian MTV. So, are they just going to bring into song now? Are you kidding? It's a Bollywood movie. I'm surprised it took them this long to get to one. Hey, lady. We are right behind the trees. Lady? Yeah, guys. Stare for as long as you like. It's not like that's creepy or anything. <laughs> Twenty minutes until the first fight scene? Well, that is better than the actual Superman movie. Oh no, you punched the air! I must retreat! God, he said something. I thought they were going to. Uh, okay, we get it. He is strong. You can change the scene now, guys. Any time now. After a bunch of nothing and a good amount of intense staring, it seems Clark accidentally kills his father by super hug. Well, that's not dark at all. I had a friend named George. But he don't breathe no more. So Backhand is dead now, of course. Are you sure we're not watching Man of Steel? Dude, spoiler alert. I have no idea what you're talking about. So Clark starts his journey to find himself. First, he throws a flashlight to the floor. So Jor-El is Zardoz. The lightning in this makes it look like Superman is in a cave. But if that was the case, how come there was a light when he threw the flashlight? Don't try to make sense of this, Renegado. You'll only lose your mind. Take naked insan, suk aur chan ki zindagi ji sakhi. Hi, Dios mio. The movie is having an acid trip again. Ab, just as you. Wow. 
Whoa! Uh, I can't believe it! They even stole the music! Well, you know, it can't be Superman without the John Williams theme. Ladies and gentlemen, the ultimate perv. Mary, I'm so sorry. Is that you? Are you telling me that you have given me a job with your editor? Mr. Shekhar. Okay, okay. I'm not Indian, so I don't know. But is there a reason why she's only wearing towels? Maybe it's a spa. May I come in, sir? Sophie, are you having Wonder Woman flashbacks? Oh, ha, 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 Mr. Mendo. You probably think you're so funny. Well, I'm just randomly going to stand up now so you can see the fruit of my labors working out these past few months. This guy reminds me of Filipino Joker. Actually, he kind of looks like he's a famous Indian comedian. Which he probably is. I'm already laughing and I don't even understand what he's saying. Now that's a dedication to overacting. Please tell me this guy is Indian Lex Luthor. I'm assuming this is Indian Lois Lane, which is disappointing, because that means this guy isn't Lex Luthor. 14 minutes into the movie and we finally see Indian Lex Luthor. No, not him. It's the guy who looks like Elvis. Lex may be an evil mastermind, but man, does he know how to throw a party with another musical interlude? You know, with the way that the camera keeps zooming in on people's faces, I get the impression that the movie is blowing me. I have seen a lot of movies with planes taking off, but I think this one wins the prize for having the best special effects. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure what exactly I'm watching now. Hello, welcome. Hello, random English. The plane is hijacked and hope seems lost, but not to worry. They're going to be saved by terrible special effects. Oh uh, yeah, Superman. He's in this movie. Superman flies with style. Superman flies randomly at the screen. Man, Doctor Who has better shot composition. Damn! Playing hide and seek on that plane wasn't such a great idea after all. John, <laughs> Jesus, the get along gang doesn't fuck around. The girls' gang is powered by feminism! And face close-up shots. Here they keep.
So, what's with the Spanish soup opera music? All it needs now is dramatic zoom. Oh, wait, it already has it. Come on, again with this. Bollywood movie. I think this woman is sexy and all, but these scenes are basically this movie's smoke breaks. Bollywood movie. I think it's safe to assume Indian Lex Luthor owns Indian music television. I mean, how could he not? He's clearly also Indian Elvis. Okay, guys, I think you're taking the Superman is Jesus metaphor a bit too far. Superman, he has the power of stop motion. They really like to reuse their flying footage. That's probably because it's the only one they have. Superman, his punches sound like drum dishes. And now Superman does the bird. What? Yeah, I don't think you understand how a green screen actually works. Okay, I'm pretty sure those clips are from the Donner Superman film. What the hell's going on? You could say they wanted to be very faithful to the source material by using some other source material. Nothing like having no shame. So far this movie hasn't been very super, man. I will say this. This is definitely one of those movies that's a fan edit of itself. I find it funny that his father appears every time he uses his superpowers. It's as if he's the one doing all the work. You know? I kind of want a movie about these supergirls now. <laughs> hey, no fair! He got the power of tight pants! <laughs> Seriously, who the hell keeps so many boxes around? Hey! Don't you talk that way about my boxes! I really like my boxes. Oh, right! I almost 
almost forgot Superman was in this movie. Yep, here comes another smoke break. But at least this one has a special effects. You mean stock footage? No, 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 look. They're totally flying under that disco ball moon. This movie might not have as many songs as Superman the Musical, but that film made sense. Does the Superman only fly in circles? Superman? Yeah. We already flew over here. Of course not, Lois. Look, you see? Now we are flying from a different angle. Hello, the Marakam Karo. Superman, come on, I guess Superman's performance blew his mind. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, come on. I love Superman's powers in this movie. For example, here he has the power of making the film go backwards. In case you were wondering if this movie really was following the exact same plot as that other movie, in this case, his kryptonite color seems to be made out of sausages. <laughs> Really? Another smoke break? But with Lex Luthor singing this time, and it's pretty hilarious. Swim! Swim for your freedom, Superman! Here comes Jor-El, the holographic McGuffin. Aren't you forgetting something? You forgot Lois Lane! Oh please, it's not like the movie remembers that. Now Lex is in a completely different room all of a sudden. <laughs> Oh, my merciful MacGyver. Uh, are they? They totally are! They're doing the exact same scene from the original movie with the exact same footage! And now we're at the part where he makes the Earth go back in time. Funny how that doesn't actually affect everyone else. Whoa! Guys, I feel busy! Me too! What is going on? Well, at 
it looks like it has the same plot as the Donner movie. That should make it easy to follow, right? Is anybody else feeling a deja vu here? Eh, it's probably nothing. Yeah, you're right. No, wait, yes, yes it is! I'm sure we watched this movie before. It's pretty much just the Donner movie again, but with a lower budget. And surprisingly a lot of recycled scenes. Oh yeah! Why don't I remember that? I don't know. Wait! It seems the last minutes of the film were so boring, they started causing a temporal anomaly. Wibbly wobbly? We were so bored that we entered a time loop. Because apparently that's how that works. Oh, get over yourself. My script, my rules. And this movie is so terrible, it's starting to cause reality to repeat itself. Ay, Dios mío. So, how do we stop it? There is one way to avoid this, but it's the ultimate sacrifice for every reviewer. It's a really difficult thing to do, especially for us. But, guys, I don't think we have a choice. We have. We have to use the fast forward button. <gasps> So yeah, Superman turns time back and captures Lex and his minions by suddenly becoming a Jedi Knight and using the Force. Because why the hell not? And he flies off with Lois to a new world of dullness. The end. We did it. We really did it. We finished the movie. You know what? I think somebody gave us this movie a purpose. I don't know, my friend of a friend of a friend said this movie came from a trusty source. I know what's going on. Someone's trying to put the Agony Anarchist out of business. But who? Will the Agony Anarchists escape this predicament? Is there enough time in the world to recover the time they wasted with this movie? And who is the mastermind behind this terrible crime? Could it be Joshua the Anarchist? Who said that? Or perhaps this is the work of the sinister slob. <laughs> oh, Adam Sandler, you're so funny. Find out next Agony Time, same Agony Channel. Seriously, guys? We're doing cliffhangers now? Great. Just great.